Okay, so to finish up the forearms, we just got to put all the pieces together. I've kind of trimmed, uh, roughly trimmed the lion legs behind. Put the pine cones on. Put the hands on. And now I'm going to play with the lion layer with levels. Maybe deepen it a little bit and with color, color balance. Again, usually warming the highlights and cooling down the shadows. Kind of make everything work in the same realm. In fact, these seem to need like slightly cooler shadows as well. So I'm going to take color balance of the pine cones, go to the shadows. Push those a little bit more towards cyan. So sometimes just the color temperature and the lighting can make a big difference. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to try to seam these elements together. I have the head with that vulture. <laughs> and I've got, oh, it just makes me laugh. This very, uh, this lion did not skip arm day. He's very buff lion. All right. So what I do is I go to that head layer and I find that vulture thing underneath. And I immediately can start erasing away from it. I know I don't want the green, right? This is all transitional. So I can definitely take that away. It's, it's too soft edged anyway, right? I know I don't want these hard edges, but I want these kind of spikes to stay there. And so I'm going to work back and forth. So then I'm going to use burn to get the midtones down on that vulture layer. That helps me to transition. And now I'm going to, now that I've got the hard edges taken care of, I can go at a lower opacity and start softly transitioning, letting some of that lion fur come through a little bit more. And back to the lion, I'm going to take a 100% eraser, still soft edged. And soften that outer fur edge. And then same with the vulture. The stuff under the jaw. I'm going to burn and transition. And then on the head itself, I have to transition these scales into that kind of vulture feather. And I can do that with the eraser. First getting rid of the hard edge with 100% eraser and then Softly transitioning, even though hard to soft textures is tough. You'll see that they kind of work when you softly transition them. As long as you have that kind of color balance that you need. The key to creature design, strong decisions. So don't, don't always aim just to, to do what's uh, in the middle. Be bold as much as you can be. And 
Okay, so I've got that transitioning pretty well. I'm going to burn it down a little. Remember, dodge and burn are great tools, great assets for you. And then I can tweak and work with exactly how much of this outline we want to keep a little bit later. Not that one. Okay. Save. Okay, so now I've got the head. Now I've got everything I need for the chest and arms. So I'm going to put that into a group. Label it. And now I have to build what's behind it. Right? So, if I want to, I think I will at this point because it's getting pretty hard to see what's behind it. I'm just going to select both of those groups and just move them off to the side for now. And I'll work on this just by bringing in reference. So I'm working on top of my background. Let's see, one reference I can bring in is this vulture. because that might be helpful. I'm going to see if I get lucky, and not as lucky as the other reference of it, but try to just grab around it with the magic wand, and then maybe add to that with the quick selection tool. Just get all the green. Ah, but it loses so much. Darn quick selection. I'll try to be a little bit more targeted with my quick selection. Yeah, no. I'm just never happy with the quick selection tool. Okay, I'm going to select the inverse, which is everything opposite, and then duplicate it, and then get rid of the smart layer. So that gives me a whole lot of noise and debris. But if I just do a quick lasso, Shouldn't be that bad. Duplicate that out. Oops. What did I do? All right. So I've got this little portion, which I can maybe use to extend the textures there and wrap around as the back. Kind of coated by the fur. Turn that off for now and get the legs. <clears throat> and I was liking the look of this poodle. Oh no, of the uh, of the lion cub. That's right. It's a better angle. So I'm going to flip this horizontally. It's already almost the exact right size. I might have to warp it a little bit. I want the hips and both legs. We are not compositing in any shadows around them. We're going to create those on our own. Duplicate that, get rid of the smart object. Take down the opacity a little bit. And see if I can get these joints and everything to work. Use distort. Very good. Get the angle. Get the hips in the right place. Let's play with the color. It's way too warm. The levels, let's brighten it up a little bit.
And let's get a lot of that yellow out of there. Now I know I, I know I don't want the tail. So I'm not doing the most refined cutout yet, but I want to get the shape of the paws. And if I wanted the most refined, I'd be zoomed in up to 200%. Right now I'm only at 25%. So just rough cutting. So I don't know how much actually needs to be refined yet, because I don't know all the shapes that are overlapping it yet. Okay. Now let's see, can I get the spine to work with warp? Just pull this spine up and back. Yeah, that's gonna work. Broaden out that back leg, broaden out that front leg a little bit. Now, how can I warp and work with this reference to fit with that? That works pretty well. Let's play with the color. Worry about all that excess green a little later. Okay, and now I'm gonna play with burning. This fur underneath where it transitions. And erasing from the vulture. First at 100%, get rid of those hard edges, and then at lower opacities. We repeat these same kind of general steps of compositing so much that you never have to memorize them, you just experience them over and over again. It's become necessary. Okay, now with the lower opacity eraser. Okay, now I'm going to put a new blank layer on top of my sketch and just fill the whole thing in with gray. I haven't put a tail in yet, but I want to see just what my references look like without my sketch behind muddying it. Then I'm going to take the head and chest and move it onto the pelvis. I'm trying to think how that can connect. And that shows me kind of the lighting and everything, and it shows me that the legs need to get a lot darker 
the back leg needs to get a lot darker. So instead of just burning it, 